I had I, in like first or second grade, Miss Valera was my teacher. I remember that. Um, there what? was a girl that would have the biggest buildup. No, Miss Flair was not. Miss you, Flair? You're not hot with a name like. Miss Flair? Flair. Fellatio. No. Flair. No, no, no. no. Flario. L- literally, this is at a Southern Baptist small private Hold up. school. Look it up. Fellatio. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You learned something on our show. What is that word they keep using? That's what it is. I kids. thought it was a kind of ice cream. No, 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 no. Fellatio is a thing. Look it up. I'm. I think I'm allergic to fellatios. Yeah. No, no, that's of something I, different. I knew a girl. Basically, she's like, it's like a. I, I always. Like if I had a daughter, I would have gotten like a like a made a mask, like a, like an iron mask, and I would oh, call okay. it the fellatio. <laughs> uh, so it's like the chastity belt from chastity belt for oral Robin sex. Head. No, fellatio. No, no. No. Robin Hood, uh, Prince of uh, Men and Tights. She had the chastity belt on. She comes up out of the bathtub. Um, she was so pretty. So, Miss Flair, third Ms. grade. Miss Flair, great. There was a girl that had this huge buildup. And she'd be like, <gasps> and like her sneezes were like the most petite. It was like no. an angel fart. No. I use that. Is I, that the second episode? Second you've episode. Angel fart? I think in a row. Talking about angel fart, you get one fart per angel. That's kind of nice. I like that. And then they're just like, I will say something. <coughs> will you? I, I thought I will say something. Something. Done. Congratulations. Moving on. No. Have you ever been like on a, a plane or something and, and like the people with the sneeze that actually startles you? <laughs> like you have to look back and go, 17B may have just expired. No, you did that. I, I've been on a plane one time where a guy just went, hey! <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it's just, I mean, people spill drinks and look, he's like, <laughs> and there's no like, and I'm no, sorry, I'm, just this. I just apologize. Like, I know that I, I have incredibly loud. I am so sorry it's for like, that. What is that? Do you, okay, do you do hander or knuckle of arm? Oh, I've gone actually inside a jacket on yeah, a yeah, plane. Yeah. I look like on I'm a plane, dabbing. I go I like this. a dab. Right. <laughs> I do that when I vomit too. <laughs> Terribly sorry. <laughs> Very, you, it's very turbulent. We've talked about this. I've thrown up on a plane. Have you ever thrown up on a plane? No. You've never thrown up on a plane? I've never thrown up on a plane. I'll tell an embarrassing story, though. I, I was on a plane with my wife. And, you know, we're in the business class. We've got a oh, business class seat. And I was in a flight. pod. I'm in a pod. You were. <laughs> I was, I was, in a, I was in, You know, you're in a pod. And I got my set up. And I'm, you know, got my iPad. got my book. Movie, whatever. No, having a nice drink, whatever. Kind of I'm asleep. And flight landed, and I kind of get up, and then to look at my wife, it was a disaster over there. She's like, <laughs> and immediately I smell it. I'm like, did you throw up? She goes, mm. <laughs> and her face was kind of like, <laughs> had the, the markings. Like, she was like, uh, she, something, the wine or something made her. Apparently, was not good. Violently ill, and like she to the point where Poor she Joe. went to the bathroom, and couldn't get to the bathroom in time, <gasps> and it was by the seat a little bit, and she was so embarrassed, and she's. she's oh, I did not know that. But when we landed, moment, she was like, "Good morning." She was like yeah. bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. I still found her very sexy, and we made a baby. <laughs> um, right then and there. Speaking of Jill, and I, I can't no, fly on that airline anymore. Good. You can't. No more United. Um. <laughs> You, speaking of Jill. United. Okay, go ahead. And United. What a great segue. Cool. That was organic. That was. Fourth of July is a very special day for you. Fourth of July, which is today, uh, if you're watching this. It's our it's our nation's it. birthday. Our nation's birthday, or as Graham McTavish from the UK calls it, Good Riddance Good Day. Good Riddance Day. Happy Good Riddance Day. Uh, it's also my 20th wedding anniversary. 20 this years. This show bro. is airing 20 years. Uh, now, provided we made it the last you know, few weeks before this episode airs. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So, I hope I don't do anything stupid. Yeah. 20 years. Pam and I are seven in. Seven in. 20 years. Yeah. And it was, you guys met in March? When, when, March. when did you meet? In, in, in Mar- no. Mar- the market? What? What, you, what? How you guys dated for like six months or something, right? It was just like, it was kind of a wham, bam, blanky, bam. No, 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 no. You knew no, instantly. We no, you we, were like, "This is I'm gonna, I want to marry that woman." When we first woman. met, um, 
This is going to be a love episode. It's not going to be it's a, a love fireworks. Episode. It's going to be a different kind of fireworks. <coughs> <episode>. <coughs> so we met about a little less than a year before. And uh, it was only but we were like, course? we were like, yeah. Well, we had met. Uh, we both had the same acting coach at the time. She was she was with uh, William Morris doing stuff and oh, Bill. Oh, Bill. Billy Morris. She wasn't with him, a guy named. Him. Yeah, Bill Morris, her ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, she. Uh, yeah, so no, we had the same acting coach, and I uh, met her, and she wanted nothing to do with me. Really? Oh well, yeah, but I mean, she, you know. Because what were you wearing? Uh, rem- French maid outfit. No, you weren't. What were you wearing? That's not the. That's that not is the point. What were you that's wearing? That's not. That's the one you I met really your met intended. It. You met your wife to I be. I actually met my wife wearing a, 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 a like a, a Hugo Boss or Donna Karen suit on the set of Port Charles back in the day. She she had came to the to the set to work with the acting coach who was mm. the on set coach. Mm. I said hi to her. She was way above my pay grade and I was like no way she's mm. she's too great then I think the next time I she came out on set she'll tell you this story I was just when I'm on set as I kind of go 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 and I saw her, I'm like Jill nice to see you again and I grabbed her my god you look amazing and I grabbed her and I dipped her like if we were dancing and then I went over to get Old coffee move. yeah and she was like and she tells the story better, but she's like, like what kind of? She told that story in court. Yeah. <laughs> so he well, the, me the charges were dropped. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'll marry him instead. And then I saw her the, the next time, and yes, we was on a golf course, and as she tells it, <sighs> what were you wearing? My pants were not. They didn't reach the top of my shoes, quite frankly. Mm. Ah, waters. Ah, <laughs> waters. We're waiting for the flood. Fortunately, she thought it was funny. So. Yeah, that's that's always the good fallback. Pretty much. That is the true story. You hear girls say this quite often. Uh, they want to find a man that makes them laugh. Yeah, but um, nobody wants to screw a clown. Bang. Weird tangent. That's keeping you from saying. What is going to happen, everybody? It's Retro Replay. No, no, no. Troy Baker. It is July 4th, <laughs> 2019. And that has to be a it's record. Called the 4th of July or the game we're playing today, Independence, Independence Day. Wait, wait. There's only someone who could say it better. Please play it. Today. This was the first time that I really, I don't know, it was it was, it was was my big blockbuster. Really? Um, absolutely. And I dated a girl and- when, Really? Yeah, <laughs> that's even more shocking when <laughs> half of our audience was like, well, I just lost a bet. Um, I dated a girl, we broke up and she took, I came home, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna be the bigger man and I'm gonna let you just get all your things and we're gonna break up. We live together. I came home and it was if I had never lived there. Everything was gone. The fridge was empty. Everything. But she left the fridge. She left the fridge because it came with the apartment. Oh. Everything was gone. And I walked in and I laughed. And I went, okay. And I slowly but surely built up everything back again. I went and I got a, a new TV. I got uh, a DVD player. That's a great question. Yeah. If somebody came and took everything, what would you replace first? Ooh, I. I, I the, you just said like. What a wonderful question. I, I think I'd have to get like a. I remember when I first got my first apartment on my own. Mm. A TV, but then I got. I think it was called a Papazon chair from like Pier One Imports. Ooh, you went fancy. No, it wasn't. It was like wicker and it had a big cushion, but a friend of mine had one and I always wanted one. And I got, I remember getting that and that's the only thing that was in the room was like a TV on a a, a box mm. and a pop and I mean I slept in that thing. You just I mean just it cradles you. I didn't have a bed. I had a mattress that was on the ground. I think the first thing I got was an Iowa stereo, <laughs> A-I-W-A, remember those? Oh yeah. Uh, I had an Iowa stereo uh, and I listened Iowa to- Iowa boombox. Iowa boombox. Yeah, detachable speakers and stuff. And yeah, then I when that. I had enough money, I got uh, I got a TV and a 27 inch Sony Trinitron. I remember that, 27 inch, massive TV. Uh, yeah. And I got a DVD player and there were a few movies that I, that I got. I got Independence Day, 
Uh, I remember it was a great really? DVD box. Yeah. And it was like one of the you only like movies. You like this movie this this much. Just so everybody knows, we're not playing the movie. We're not watching the we're movie. We're not watching the movie. We're playing we're the doing game. a lot of clips. Uh, uh, because if, 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 yep. if you don't know, yep. uh, uh, one of the, uh, my God in Dropped heaven. Dropped it. My God in heaven. So sue me, David. It's notoriously hard. Uh, it's a flight simulator. I like the flight simulators. Um, multiplayer. Oh god. I want to play single player oh, right god, now. Even that first shot of like the you know showing the moon. It starts with um, you know that the close up of of uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, Neil Armstrong, <laughs> different one, different Neil, uh, and the footprint and the, as the ship goes over, it shakes. You think about that that moon boot print that boot boot print <laughs> yeah. is gonna be there forever because there's no dust or there's no wind on the moon to, to move it. So like it's an eternal one to see that shake. But imagine if somebody like went up there just to go. What a dick move. That's, that would be a dick terrible. move. Like, like, they, like they rake it like a sand trap. Yeah. Look what I do. <laughs> it's a dude bro move. So you asked um, me about this. I want to get back to your question. Please. You asked me like what this meant to me. What, I don't the, what know what it means to you. <coughs> I don't know. I didn't really mean anything to me. I, like like this, <sighs> I, which I, makes me feel bad. But I remember enjoying it. I remember seeing it multiple times. Multiple times. And I remember when it came out, like on you know HBO or, or Cinemax. You know, whenever it was on, this is one of those movies that if it's on, you're like, oh, I got to watch this. Absolutely. I mean, I I know that, but. I remember though when they all that that cool shot that they have to be had right here in the opening of this, where the they all come in weapons hot, and they let Box it go, three. and it's like, just there's a f force field. Oh no! Yeah. And it's like, oh no! And then this, and then this, the the alien crafts come out. Blow through, blow through. Dean Devlin, who's the producer, uh, you he voiced himself or he he like put his voice in there. He was a first started off as an actor then he became a producer and he's actually one of the voices of the pilots the behind the scenes of this is incredible um i think the welcome to earth was a ad-libbed line welcome to earth oh are right, you in it this. bogey has luck um oh, you've got man, the lovely harry connick jr Oh man, this is. I've got the right here, yeah. Well, I got it right here, yeah. That's our dance. Not before the fat lady. This is important. Oh, oh yeah, a uh, fat lady. Boogie has very luck. important. This is our victory dance. Not until the fat lady sings. So yeah, so Jeff Goldblum. I remember him in this. I I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I so should be doing. So probably, uh, I would say you're. Probably trying to shoot the. Uh, you're approaching the force field. I'll tell you one thing. So that, unless I'll, you've got Russell Case with you, you're not going to be able to do that. Destroy I'm four generators. Back! Hello, boys. I'm back. Oh man! Can you tell where those. I'm supposed to shoot? Is that a generator? His his son. Um, That's just a house. Hey, Russell. Hey, Miguel. What the heck do you think? Just what the hell do you think you're doing? Lucas's farm is on the other side of town. Are you sure? That's right. I need help. I don't know where I'm going. No, that's a that's a He doesn't need any more. I think that's what he says. Um, destroy can four I, generators. Can I go faster? Right? Does anybody know what I'm supposed to do? You know what? You're doing a good job. That's the force field, right? So, what are the four generators? There's the four generators. Look up to your right at your one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock around. Do you see him? Five o'clock, six o'clock. Yeah. Happy days. Right there. Do, 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 no, do, no, do. This is a well, that's that's major, oh, repair. major repairs. Major repairs. Reporting for duty. That's what you want to shoot. Oh, the light thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. So yeah. that's the ah. thing that Russell Case has to fly into. Tell my son I love him. You should be proud of your. <laughs> His father just died. You should be very proud of your father. <laughs> what am I Damn. doing here? That guy. I don't know whatever happened to that guy. He looks like the guy who played a Treyu in. Uh, Oh man, this is terrible. I I can't. I, this is the, bad. This is hard. It, it's the I don't even know what I'm shooting at. You're supposed to shoot the the. Oh, you have no more missiles. Well, how do I get more missiles? And the president gets up and there's like, I'd rather be up there, sir. I belong in the air. 
Robert Loja plays his Secretary of Defense. So good. So good. This is really hard. I actually kind of want to just... I'm out of missiles. I can't find <laughs> missiles. I'm just, <laughs> just flying into a wall. Come on. Look, I can fly into a wall and I don't go down. Come on. Oh, I mean, physics. You know, why... why tell me why, because you're... Why don't they have this on a... I, I mean, what is that? Is that missiles? A10 found. I hope that's a, something that I should destroy. Four generators. Okay, so stay around there hold and on, just kind I of need, like. Hold on, I need things. I need things. You do need things in life. So go ahead and hit that real quick. Go. Whoop. Pick that five, five missiles. missiles. Right. There you go. That's what you want to shoot. Shoot the glass. Shoot that. Perfect. You have two kills. What? You're doing very well. I, I don't know if I'm doing well. I don't know what I'm doing. I lost. I'm trying to find generators. Let's talk about the ridiculousness of how they take them down. They upload a virus. A virus. Well, I, a virus took me down recently. My voice is feeling much better. Thanks for asking. We will not talk about the sequel. Yeah, was it July 5th? It, it took something from me. That, it took something that sucked. From me. What do you What do you mean? What did, What did it do? Talk to me. It It talked. It, it was. It was. I can't do horrible. this. I can't do this. Oh you, you, no! You did it. You did it well. No, I picked up uh, five five missiles. I don't know what it shoots. Is I think it's X. I want to wait. I can't find the generators. I don't know where I'm. I, I don't know where I'm aiming. I'm having a little spilk issue. There you go. There you go. To the right. Where? There, it's, look for the glowy things on the screen. Mm. Look at my head. I always do this. What is it with my? Everybody, anyway, does everybody that. makes fun of me online now. They're like, why is it no, doing that with his head? That's, that's you. Don't, right, I'm gonna don't try go to that keep way. Don't go that down. way. Don't go that way. Why? I want to go this way. There you go. Oh, the there, there right there. To the I right. saw it. Oh, God. My dish, 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 dish. Lock. Eight hole. You have I four have... kills. You're doing very well. I don't think so. There's things flying. I, you I... have four more that are left. So you need to shoot four more of these. Really? Man, how about these but the, I, I feel like I'm just going around. I feel like I'm just going around in circles. I'm getting a little nauseous. There you go. There you go. Generator destroyed, bud. Hey. Oh, wow. And the advert inside this is the Die Hard trilogy. Another wonderful adaptation. Uh-oh. You done messed up now. I picked up five missiles. Oh, uh -oh. there's a guy. Oh, okay. my goodness. No, they don't care. Wingman has one kill. Oh, no. One. Your wingman? Is that Harry Connick Jr.? I just can't seem to figure out. All right, out. Black Knights. Why we are poised here? Shoot that generator! I saw wingman got another. I got my wingman. He's doing a good job. Why are we out here? We may never Where? know, but the Black Knights will emerge victorious. Come on, man! Amen, Reverend. Will Smithies? He's he's done well for himself too. Yeah, this is like his first big movie. Hey, Jasmine, you, neighbors are moving. How do you Must know? Must be upset about the quake. How do you know all this? Ogie has lost. Did I know this movie? You know what you do? This is how this you do it. So well. Severe plane damage. Go down. See, I just wanted to see an explosion, even if it Jasmine's was Jasmine's dog's name? How do you know this? I just, I just know it. You want to give this a shot? Yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it, I'll give it a shot. But I may I first read the... <gasps> Plot! It's just a normal 4th of July weekend in the U.S. of a... <laughs> until alien ships show up over major cities all over the world and us humans have zero <laughs> idea of what to do. Luckily, the humans have Jeff Goldblum. And what Will more Smith, could the you president want? of the United States, Thomas J. Whitmore, to save the day. They didn't attack your policies. It's their age they're attacking. They never attacked you when you stood by your guns. Age was never an issue when you stuck to your guns. Honey, you're up awfully early this morning. Putting on his robe. Mm -hmm. well, are you gonna mime everything too? Oh, yeah. Oh, and let's not forget Randy Quaid. How have we not talked about crazy Randy Quaid? Tell my son. Crazy well, Randy is it, Quaid. Isn't the one who, who like, sacrifices himself at the end? What's about Russell Case? When did Randy Quaid go crazy? I don't like, know. insane. Like, okay. as his beard gets longer, he gets crazier. Yeah. It's really does. strange. Um, 
Randy Quaid, who bravely rams his jet into the direct and energy weapon port, saving Area 51, the world, Dash, and the Americans holiday weekend. Yeah. Let's not forget that. Over half of the armed forces are out on holiday. Epic speeches! Will Smith being Will Smith. And the White House blows up. That's true. They did that as a model. And it, uh, it's so brilliant. They're, in the behind the scenes, they showed how they did that. And it's such a huge, epic explosion. And when you actually watch the practical shot, it's like, Pah! <laughs> it's so small and underwhelming. What's not to love about this game slash movie? What's not to love about this game is the incredibly difficult graphics. Difficult Can't graphics. Oh, you're I'm in gonna... a different plane now. I don't. I don't know what I'm in. What are you in now? What are you doing? I. I don't know. Get him out of there. This isn't happening fast enough. Get is him it? out of there, Robert Loja. I gotta get some. They bring up. They 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 create this whole like weird. Uh, I feel like I'm crawling. Why does yeah, Bogey? Yeah, Bogey has locked. No kidding. I gotta go get repairs. There's repairs. Get repairs. Yeah. Oh God. I, oh, I got major repairs. Major re major repairs. I did that twice. I did that joke twice. I did that twice joke. Um, Come on. How do I get locked? They created yeah, I, this uh, helicopter with like a lighting system. Like it was this weird bastardized version of like Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and, and for some reason they thought that was gonna work. I started watching a show called Project Blue Book about the oh, scientists. Oh, I, I tried to watch that too. Did you try? You didn't like it? You got the guy from Littlefinger from Game of Thrones. Yeah, I, I watched a little bit. It, it's a little slow to, to oh, start with. It's so good. I think it's. I'll so give good. it a chance. But it's about the guy who developed the system for. <gasps> what? What? You're on fire today. Oh, Bogey is locked. I hate when Bogey is locked. Press pause. Pause. Oh, okay. Okay, we're doing something. What? Go. Aliens, yes or no? Oh, are there aliens? Have we been? I mean, are there aliens? It is, it is. <laughs> no. Oh, no. There's no aliens. Um. <laughs> uh, no, uh, yeah, yeah, why not? Of course. I, I, I just alien, think alien life... In, in 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 the universe, of course, mathematically impossible. Oh, I thought you meant not. Mexico. <laughs> Whoa, no. Huh? Do we're gonna build a wall? Have it's we? Be glorious, beautiful <laughs> wall, greatest wall ever. It's gonna go all the way to the clouds. There's, I mean, I'm for we're some gonna reason, keep birds out. I'm getting all what of these. What about tunnels? Oh, I didn't think of that. <laughs> we have all of these. Canada aliens. They're aliens. To Do be you honest, believe that we've been visited by alien life forms? <laughs> Like I've been get, I'm getting like all these notices visited? like every day, like of all these like. You know what? I'm one of those people that stuff. gets really practical about the whole thing, and I think, well, I personally, just literally, just I'm a very pragmatic thinker. The odds that there's not some type of life out in this vast, vast, infinite, mathematically implausible. It just seems like there's got to be life somewhere else. Have they ever visited? Man, I've seen some things with, where, like, military pilots are like, what is that thing right. flying? And there's, like, uh, I just read something recently, like, uh, June, like, from the fall of 2016 to the spring of 2017, they just released that Air Force and Navy pilots and some commercial pilots, there was, like, 40 over 40 sightings in this one area along the east coast of the United States. And they got, you know, people said, well, it's military developing things. Military j jets actually filed reports because they, they thought if this is military testing, they should have checked that we're on maneuvers here mm -hmm. because we almost got hit. And they found that there weren't any it, not even secret top, because even if it's top secret stuff, they would do it somewhere where, A, they're probably not going to get seen, but B, they certainly don't want to get so close to actually possibly hurt a pilot. And it kind of, it, those are the things that blow my mind. Then I see the guy on Ancient Aliens, you know, with the hair. Yeah, that dude. guy comes out, he goes, they were here, they were all in the Aztecs, and they built their, their pyramids, and this is what happened. Well, and, why does he turn Oh my the God, I know. That's Jerry Lewis as a guy. That that's what they do, lady. They came in the pyramids with the stones in the building. <laughs>
I'm it telling was, you, I thought there, it was it's, Gilbert it's, Godfrey. <laughs> yeah, ancient alien, ancient alien astronaut theorists suggest. Oh God! Yeah, <laughs> ah, have they? I don't know, but there's so many things out there. There's, I don't. I'm Why not do you really? Think con- I'm not a conspiracy guy, but, right? You know, you look at like those. You look at some of the the, the structures on the planet, and they gave a. I think it was a physicist. They showed him the inside of the Great Pyramid. Oh. They showed him, and he looked, he goes, uh, and they didn't tell him what it was. They just showed him the the blueprints. blueprints. I remember this. They made blueprints of it, and they said, do you know what this is? He goes, and without, he didn't even blink. He was like, "Uh, it's a a nuclear reactor. Yeah. And they're like, what? He goes, yeah, it's a nuclear reactor. That's where this would go, right? And they're like, Great Pyramid of Giza. That's a Great Pyramid of Giza. And they're like, I mean, I don't know. And in one small, tiny room is... And in a weird place is a burial chamber makes no sense. Makes absolutely no sense. And the fact that all of the pyramids are connected through a grid. It's like, yeah. this is how you would disperse energy throughout a city. It'd be like <coughs> us looking at a nuclear power plant and going, oh, that's clearly a cemetery because we found a body that was buried there. I'm like, no, it was a no. power plant. Uh, so, yeah. It- but why do you think that is so of all of the movies i mean going back to like one of the first movies was us shooting a rocket to the moon and there being life there and and everything else from hg wells to uh jules verne to isaac asimov ray bradbury to like all the modern science fiction tellers uh up to like movies that we have games that we have we've been fascinated with this it's the beyond, man. That's where the gods were. The gods were in the sun. The gods were in the sky and the clouds and the rain. I mean, it, it's like, what's out there? I, what, what's, what's interesting that Cooper, my son, actually brought up. He said, you know, do you know we know more? I'm going to shift, switch gears. Go. We know more about outer space. Than we do about the ocean. Than we know about the ocean. It's the same thing as someone walking up to the ocean, taking a cup, dipping it in there and going, there's no life here. This is stupid kind of, as of a thing as that. Bench on the size of the cup. But I, it, I, why not? Why not have we been visited? There's there's certainly things that we can't understand. I know that uh, I think about the movie Contact, which is a brilliant bl- book, great movie, um, written by the late great Carl Sagan, who the antagonist character in that movie says one or two possibilities, either. A, we, uh, there is no Jody life. Jodie Foster, right? Jodie Foster and Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, all right, That's all right. the greatest performance ever to think That's that they nice. had any kind of chemistry whatsoever. That's right, there's no chemistry. Um, I just got chemistry myself and all want, these trees around me. I just want to kiss you right now. Oh, just, no. <laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> um, <that's, laughs> Thank you, though. <laughs> That's why, why we didn't know that Jodie Foster was gay, because, like, Anybody who wouldn't want to kiss Matthew McConaughey? I would kiss him. <laughs> I would kiss Matthew McConaughey. I would like, hey and man, she was I, like, I, I'm sorry, this has to friends. happen, bro. <laughs> so timeline: 1947, the famous Roswell. The, the, even in this movie, uh, they talk about how they capture the spacecraft and everything, and that's one of the spacecraft is how they're able to fly back up, and there's the spacecraft that right. they captured at Roswell. Um, that's not entirely inaccurate. There's no Area 51. That's not entirely accurate. Jim Rephorn. Oh, the late, great Jim Rephorn. I get to do this. Worked with him. He and I uh, shared a trailer. Uh, I had one side, it was called a two-banger. I had one side, he had the other on Comanche Moon. And just the nicest guy in the world. Nicest guy in the world. Uh, And I talked about this movie in... He talked about how great it was working with everybody. Um, but he plays such a jerk in that movie. Uh, Get him out of here. You're fired. How um, do you know all this stuff? Wait, My God. Jim Redhorn plays the, uh, is he the Secretary of Defense? Or he's the, <clears throat> he's the Secretary of State? I can't remember what he actually, what his character um, is, but he's the one who goes, two words, sir. Plausible deniability. Why the hell wasn't I told about this place? Two words, Mr. President. Plausible deniability. Ah, so great. But, 1947, Roswell, New Mexico. Rewind the clock a little bit. After World War II, Hitler had gathered the greatest minds of Europe and put them all together. A lot of them were working on Die Glock. Someone's going to correct me on my German. D-I-E, 
G-L-O-C-K, which is called the Bell, which was some weird mechanical thing that they were developing there, or were, they thought was either a um, form of fixed wing aircraft, like a different way to fly, or time machine. So, 1945, Allies win the war, U.S. goes, hey, all you scientists, you're coming with us. And they bring them to New Mexico to really? work on what they called Project Paperclip. Among those people, Werner von Braun, which would from, go from, to be the head of NASA. <clears throat> right. So, it's in 1945. Two years later, they're like, show us everything you have. Show us everything you've been working on. Two years later, we have the major alien sighting in, in uh, Roswell, New Mexico. So Not what are you saying? Are you saying that I think that, that they that were they were showing off some stuff and people saw it and they were like, look at the SR seventy one Blackbird was, uh, you know the the big A wing looking thing. Yeah, that was uh, the stealth bomber or whatever. That was all top security. No one knew about it. They had to deny that it even existed because we couldn't tell the Russians that we had something like that that was able to fly that low and not be able to be picked up on any kind of radar. And then they came. I was like. This absolutely exists, and it looks like a freaking spaceship. So how many things have been in existence? Nerd. I love alien stuff, man. I wa I've watched all, was it, eight seasons of, or eight years worth of, of ancient aliens. So you're, uh, you're all in. Robert Clotworthy is the, um, uh, he does the VO for that, and I, I've, I've worked with him, and I, um, good dude. And I love his voice. I wouldn't change anything about it. You're going down. I need to. I, I, I don't even know where I am. I'm dizzy. I have, I'm nauseous. I, 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 I blew up some big stuff, but I can't get a lock on the aliens. And I mean, I'm I mean, not very good. How about we do this to make it a little bit easier, maybe a little bit more fun. We can do some chiat codes. Um, okay. Well, what do I do? Do you want to go to our nation's capital? Forrest Gump. Right now? We're in the middle of a show. Yeah. Cheat codes and game. Defend the or E3 AWAX until the recon. Scroll over and see what other options play. are. God, look at this, dude. Scroll over. And you go, Captain Steve Hiller will give you close air cover and stay in radio contact during battle. <gasps> Start. All right, so. Going after it. I can do this. Lord Washington. A nation's capital. So. I like to play like speak, this. So L two R two, right? So bring your uh, bring hold your on, middle on. fingers up on how the bumpers. How do I get? How do, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to. How do I get lock? Is there a way to get lock on these guys and hold well, the you lock? Need, you need to be on them. <laughs> I want to be on you. I want to be on you. Uh, circle is bullets. Mm. X is missiles. Circles bullets. Yep. So you can go. Oh, I think I got one. So here you go. I think I got one. I got one. I got a bogey down. I got a bogey down. Oh, hold on. Bogey is locked. No. Oh, damn it. Damn it. Go down. What you going down, boy? Okay. I got it. So don't, go, don't go in the ocean. Don't go in the ocean. Come on. I want to just shoot stuff. I'm just going to shoot stuff. Press. You're not even putting on the gas. I'm not. I'm, I I don't know what the gas is. I told you. R, R, that right there. That's, That's how you go R1. faster. Oh, shit. You're flying me into a building. There you go. I feel the need for speed. Different movie. I'm sorry. Crossing the streams. Bogey has lock? How about this? That's how your about, map. How about the F-18? It's out of there. Mm. Speed is your friend. Speed is your friend. Speed is your friend. Speed mm. is your friend. Is he there? Go towards the red. Go toward the red. I, have, I, I don't see the red. Oh, God. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I'm scared. Oh, that was major. Hold on, I need more missiles. Uh, can you imagine doing this in VR? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? To the right. I'm trying, I'm trying to get out Just of Just really casual mm -hmm. movements. There you go. I may not have any more bullets. You have all, you have unlimited bullets. You just have missiles. I'm going in the ocean like Captain Sully. Gosh. <laughs> well. Okay. See what I'm saying? Oh, my, my oh. oh. I am so glad that the fate of our world is not in your 
And so I guess we're um, we're dead. I guess our our planet is doomed. You know what? This is how I planned it. Oh no! This is how I planned it. <laughs> you silly humans! Well, you silly humans! We'll never be able to defend <laughs> us. <laughs> While our alien overlords uh, take over our planet, <laughs> we wish you a very happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, humans! <laughs> <laughs> and we ask you, what do we play next? <laughs> Did you hit your teeth on the glass? I just you? broke my tooth on that. <laughs> I heard that. I'm so impressed by you stating it.